I'm joined today by Dr. Vikram Sharma from Quintessence Labs. And like me, uh, Vikram is a Sloan Fellow, so welcome. Uh, I'm delighted to have an alumni with me. Um, can you just start, uh, Vikram, by telling us a little about Quintessence Labs? Uh, sure, Don. And first of all, thank you for having me on your program. Um, Quintessence Labs has uh, uh, derived from some research at the Australian National University mm -hmm. in the field of quantum key distribution. Mm -hmm. Esoteric as it may sound, but this was uh, world-leading research, which uh, culminated in the uh, research group uh, of which I was a part, winning the Eureka Prize in mm -hmm. 2005 mm -hmm. for innovative science. Mm -hmm. Building on uh, uh, this technology, Quintessence Labs is uh, delivering enterprise data security uh, protection platform, mm -hmm. which leverages some unique capabilities from the quantum science world. And how exactly do you do that? Um, so don't we have a four-layered uh, technology architecture? To be able to do any good form of encryption, you need to have a very strong source of random numbers. Mm -hmm. So we've got one of the world's fastest quantum random number generators. And sitting above that, building on technology that was uh, studied at the ANU, we have the world's first continuous variable quantum key distribution system. While it's a fancy name, what it uh, uh, simply does is uses a highly tuned laser mm -hmm. to carry a secret key securely between two locations. Vikram, could you tell us a bit about your data security technology and what some of the features of it are? Uh, certainly, Don. The problem that we seek to address is the economic loss that is arising from concerted uh, IP espionage all across the world. Mm -hmm. The uh, U.S. Uh, National Counterintelligence Executive has estimated in the U.S. alone this was worth over, uh, well, approaching $400 billion in 2011. Similar numbers come out of uh, uh, South Korea, I think they estimate $70 billion, $80 billion in Germany, mm -hmm. and this is annually. So we see this as a significant problem. To date, what we've done to protect our valuable data is put big walls around it. Mm -hmm. So put things like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, etc. However, what we're increasingly finding and is being acknowledged is that this is insufficient. We obviously need to continue to do this. Mm. However, what we're finding is that the, the bad guys are on the inside of our uh, perimeters. Mm. So to address this, we've developed a suite of technologies that go to the target of the attacks to protect the data itself. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the tangible benefits that come from the use of Quintessence Labs technology? Certainly, two that uh, come to mind straight away are the economic benefit through the streamlining of security policy administration. Mm -hmm. The second is the preservation of trust as a result of an enhanced and more robust security posture. Could you give us some examples of the sort of work you're doing with uh, customers right now? One example of this is uh, we, in 2010, won something called the Telstra Innovation Challenge. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, we got access to Telstra infrastructure. They gave us uh, their facilities or use of their facilities at the Telstra Integration Labs in Carlton. And they established several fib uh, fiber optic mm -hmm. networks for us, mm -hmm. over which we demonstrated the operation of our technology. The most uh, notable of these was a 20 kilometer fiber loop that uh, started out at Carlton went next to various motorways and tram lines under the river, back mm -hmm. in CBD, and then back to the Telstra Integration Labs. And we're able to show that the technology operated flawlessly uh, over this network. So you're a Canberra-based company. Uh, what opportunity exists for you to expand internationally? We've been working quite concertedly in getting engagement with some of the world's largest uh, defense suppliers mm -hmm. in the United States, as well as IBM. We have also engaged with NASA and JPL, who are interested in what we call unconditionally secure information transmission, and are very uh, delighted to have been invited by NASA to open an office at the Ames Research Park in Mountain View. In fact, we've just taken possession of that premises, and we'll be using that as a business development base for our US market development. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Vikram Sharma from Quintessence Labs. What an exciting uh, high technology company coming out of Australian research and really being at the forefront of some really interesting developments in cyber security.